Hotep, Hotep, Namaste, Ashe. Welcome back to another cold healing session. I feel good today. Even though, you know, again, like I said, guys, I live in the Philadelphia area. It's cold as crap up here right now. So for all you people that are living in warm spots right now, you were some lucky people. <laughs> you know, um, so uh, today... I want to do a, you know, even though I've said this many times in other videos, but I don't think I've actually made a video just describing step by step guide to manifestation. It's very, very simple as far as understanding. Now, it's a little bit difficult as far as doing. It's easier said than done. Okay, so I just want to dedicate this video because we have the winter solstice coming up December 22nd. 12 uh, 12 a.m. The energy starts coming in at December 20th and, and is completely usually out by December 25th. In that window of time, you got access to the black sun, which is the subconscious mind, which is responsible for for the for everything in your reality. OK, you can't be mad at anybody else for creating what you have in your reality. I'm giving you the blueprint right now. So you could start today. What's today's date? Hold on. What's today's date? Today's date is December 7th. All right. You got all the way, you, you know, follow these steps, guys, and do it with seriousness. Okay. Every, all my new people, please subscribe. Please like the video. Remember when you subscribe, hit that little bell. Next to the button, next to the subscribe button, so you can get those notifications. Because I'm dropping heavy, I'm going hard. I'm I told you guys, I'm going in from now on. <laughs> All right, I'm going in from now on. I'm I'm dropping consistently. Um, and uh, people been asking me, I don't know when your videos, I don't know when your videos are coming out. I don't know when they come up. You gotta hit that bell next to the subscription button because YouTube is dumb. <laughs> Trust me, but I'm on here. It got me connected with everybody. Remember also, for those people that have had sessions with me or purchased anything from me or have had phone calls with me or one on one video chats with me, you have you have um, the time to get into my private Facebook group. All right. Email me at a coat healing 22 at Gmail dot com. Email at a coat healing. 22 at gmail.com. The email is in the description of this video. Okay. E say you want to um make sure you use the same email that you set your consultations up with. Okay. So my assistant can see that oh, this is a person that actually did purchase something from you. All right. Um, and also put your Facebook name in the message. So then when we send you the link link to request, we know it's you and we'll be we'll just add you in. Okay. So make sure you guys do that all for the people in the future that get consultations with me or sessions from me or purchase something from me. All right. And as soon as you make your payment, I'll send you the link. And, you know, you do the same thing. Let me know your Facebook name. We'll put you in. I told you already astrology readings, tarot readings, um, uh, detox sessions, hypnosis sessions. Um, and also the one on one consultations with me live, you know, the mentorships and the spiritual consultations. OK. And for small, specific people the how to make money from home session. Those are you people that want the follow ups and all like that, that already got it. All right. So let's get into this. Step one. OK, step one to the step by step guide to manifesting what you desire. All right. Listen, OK, step one <clears throat> is to get your vision right. Know what you desire. Write the vision and make it plain. OK, this is the hardest part that it, believe it or not, it sounds so simple, but nobody, everybody, you know, everybody wants something, whatever what somebody else wants. What do you want? You need to take a day or two. Yes, I did say a whole day or two to get this right. Believe me, the time and dedication you put into this is going to be well worth it. You need to just sit and think. What is your vision? What do you want? OK, what do you want? 
What is the house that you want? What is the car that you want? What is the relationship that you want? Um, the reason I said take a day because you might have to write it out and trash it and write or rewrite it again. This is serious, people. Get your vision right. What is it that you want so you can have a mental picture of it? So then when I tell you the next thing, you'll be able to you can't move further without this. You have to know what you want. You keep thinking about one thing, then you're thinking about another thing. Paint it all. Get you right the vision and make it plain. The Bible told told you that, right? Okay, write it out. So you so it can stick in your head. What exactly? Where do you want to live? Like I said, what kind of relationship do you want to have? Uh, you know, where do you you know envision it as well? What kind of clothes are you wearing? What kind of friends are do you have around? What is your daily routine? What are you doing for income? Because you can't do nothing. Some of you guys want to do nothing. That's not reality. You're sick. It's a sickness. If you have no desire to do anything and you want to just live in the woods somewhere, that is a sickness. Okay? You are here to contribute to the world. You're here to uplift frequency. You have a job to do. Okay? Stop running away. Change with the times. Okay? You got to change with the times, people. We're in the age of Aquarius. It's the age of technology. Get used to it. <laughs> okay? You can't go back. You can try. You can try to get away from Babylon. Even the, in the woods is Babylon. You go in the woods all you want. You know, everybody is, you know, because now being with nature is important. You have to ground yourself. But for all those people that idolize and say this is where you're supposed to be at, we're not on that anymore. They're on that until there's a bear trying to eat them, <laughs> until there's a snake that bites you, until there's a scorpion that, bite, that, that stings you, until you're, you're hungry and in the cold or something like that. Right. Until there's an avalanche, until there's a mudslide, until there's a hurricane, um, until there's wolves at your front, you know, trying to eat your children. You see what I'm saying? It's, there's always going to be a balance. There's always going to be yin and yang wherever you go. You can go anywhere on this planet and you're going to be you're going to find some kind of danger. You're going to find some kind of peace. So this. So I just want you guys to know we're in the age of technology. OK. You have to understand that all is one. This is this is a part of the uh, first step as well. All is one. Everything in this that you see in this universe is a part of a thinking substance. Everything. What does this let you know? It all comes from thought. Thought. OK, so what does this let you know that you are part of everything? You can have anything you desire. You just got to know what your vision is. What is it? OK. Any everything that you see is is of thought. You see anything physical. So even this computer, yes, it has low frequencies, but the computer is still part of the whole. OK, anything you can think of this piece of paper, this pen, your cell phone, the Wi-Fi itself, all is a part of the whole. So it's redundant to think to say, oh, somebody is too materialistic. Anybody who says stuff like that, you can be sure enough that they have no idea what they're talking about. Everything is spiritual. There is nothing solid here. They don't understand. So I'm trying to help you understand. Write your vision and make it plain. Forget what those other people are telling you. They want you to be miserable. They want you to stay in survival mode. OK, that's what happens if you go back to those conditions where man had to rebuild itself. Remember, life is a cycle, people. The golden age wasn't the time when, you know, that was when humanity was just uh, uh, coming from their destruction. When they had to be in survival mode again, if you're in survival mode, you don't have time to meditate. You don't have time to um, try to send your thoughts to the universe. Why? Because you're too busy trying to survive. You're too busy trying to find food and water and protect yourself from predators. You better be lucky you live in this day and age. You see, you better be lucky you live in this day and age. 
ungrateful. All right. That's that's what's happening. And a lot of us uh, or in these countries, America, the UK. You know, in other parts who are who are spoiled. And ungrateful, you have access to everything you desire. You're just being lazy. <laughs> so get it together now. Right. Get your vision right right now. What do you want? Write it out over and over again. Take two days out. Get you to say these next two days, I'm getting my vision right. What do I want? That's going to create the desire. You have nothing without the desire. OK. I just want to make sure you got that. Step number two. Affirm it over and over. Once you have your vision, once you know what you want, you know exactly what you want. It's in your heart now. Now you want to keep it in your mind over and over. You want to drill it into your mind. You want to program yourself. This is step two. Program yourself over and over again. You should put it. Uh, look, at you see this? My meditation room right here. There's affirmations and symbols all over the place. In my whole entire house, actually. Why? Because I'm programming myself. I know some of my new people here. They're like, what is what is this dude? All this stuff all around is, you know, this again, this is my meditation room. You know, some people are like, what the heck is all on his walls? Programming. Because I program myself. I'm my own master. It's time for you to step in, become your own master, your own master. Some of you people are just computers and you're getting programmed by the programmer. It's time for you to sit in the in the computer chair and program your own computer. Affirm it over and over again. Visualize it over and over again. You should be visualizing it as soon as, you, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you go to sleep all day. If there's affirmations connected to it, I am this, I whatever, whatever, say it over and over again until you're crazy. <laughs> crazy people are successful. They're crazy enough to go against the grain They're crazy enough to not care what nobody else got to say about them. That Those people that are successful and I mean real success. I'm not talking about just rich because you could be rich and miserable because you're still um, a slave to do to the dollar. You want to be successful like Warren Buffett, where Warren Buffett said he said in his own self that he's kind of lazy. He just wants to read and collect money and his money works for him. While he sleeps, he's billionaire, one of the uh, most richest people on this earth. Right. But he has real success because he's not a slave to the money. The money works for him. This is why I wanted you to understand what I was giving you with the how to make money from home session. Only some of you got that. <laughs> Affirm it over and over again. OK, over to the point you're crazy. Real successful people are, are lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> because you got to be to just keep going and going no matter what knocks you down. They just keep getting up and getting up and they keep having that positive attitude, get smacked in the face and smile and say, hey, that's how life is, because that's how it is. It's always going to be 50 50 people. Stop looking for this 100 percent paradise. There is nuts. No such thing. You're unbalanced. Because guess what? That pain and that misery is what it takes you to the next level. Be thankful when something stalls you. You should be thankful because you should know that you're on to something now. If you if you've taken things to a next level and your friends are starting to hate on you and people are leaving out your life, you should say, wow, I'm on to something now. Because any change you make, things got to move out the way in order for new things to come in. Affirm it over and over again. Step number three, have faith. In it. Some of you guys are so worried about if it's going to work or not. You're taking your energy down here. You should walk with your head high. You should already feel like you, you already have it. You should feel like it's yours. Now, if you've been doing what I tell you to do with the affirming and over and over again, it's going to be like that anyway. You're going to be like it's going to come to a point in the day where you're going to be like, this is mine. And you're going to feel it inside of you. That's the faith. That's the faith that all the religions are talking about. OK. Faith in God is the whole one is you. So if you start having doubts, that means you believe in another power. 
You believe in something else other than the one all. Because how could you ever not get what you want if you are a part of everything? Okay? Makes sense? That's real faith. Faith the side of a mustard seed moves mountains. Okay? I know I'm quoting the Bible a lot, but, you know, I know a lot of you come from Christianity. Okay? Um, But... Wherever you come from, whatever religion is still a religion, it's still to keep you confined. Have the faith. You can have whatever you want. You gotta, you gotta understand that. All is one and one is all. Everything comes from a thinking substance. Okay. Step number four, gratitude. You should be thankful that you already have it. Before you actually have it, again, it sounds nuts, right? I told you, successful people are a little bit off their rocker because they're successful. Okay? Gratitude, you should be thankful. And not, not just what you're going to have, right? You should be thankful for what you already have. Like I said, all those painful experiences that you went through, be thankful because they're the reason why you're here now. They're the reason why you're this this person that you are now and you're about to be on that verge of getting your success. Have gratitude that you have a roof over your head. Have gratitude that you have a car. Have gratitude that you are in a relationship, that you have a mother, that you have a father, that you have a family, that you have food to eat. That you have sight, uh, you know, that you can hear, that you have legs, that you can speak, that you have friends. This is going to keep you in a in an uplifted frequency. Now, remember, um, this doesn't mean that you're 100 percent positive. It just means the majority of the time you're you're positive. Yes, you're going to go through times when you're angry and anger is good because anger is energy. Use that energy. When somebody makes you angry, say, you know what? I'm going to go home. Uh, I'm going to work on this project. I'm going to put everything I got into it. I'm ang I'm mad now. I'm going to crush them with success. You should be crushing your enemies with success. You should be going home. If somebody doesn't like you at work, you should be writing your plan out. So then when you got it all set up and you can leave that job and they see you, they're going to feel upset. Because now look at you. They're still working at the job and you're about to set up on a whole nother life. They're going to see you on social media on the beach. That's how you destroy enemies. OK, that's how you destroy enemies. OK, so gratitude, be thankful for all this. Be thankful for those people that don't like you because they're going to push you to take it to the next level. Step number five. OK, is increase life wherever you go. This is very important. Now we're getting into external things, right? Because it's not just all internal. It's not just all feminine people. It's balance. I know they want to tell you it's all feminine because the feminine seems easy, even though it's not. None of it's easier or harder. But it, the feminine seems easy because it's like, oh, I could just do it by myself. I told you, you can never be anything without other people. I'm sorry. Sorry, people is the real currency. It's not actually dollars and money. It's people who you know, your connections, your friendships, your family. Those are the things. If you notice all successful people, they had a solid team foundation or whatever. I don't know. F solid family. Solid something with other people. Now, what do I mean by increased life wherever you go? You should be any person that comes in your reality. You should be making them feel pumped. You should be inspiring them. You should be increasing something for them. You should be giving something to them. Even if it's just um, an extreme, honest compliment. Think about it like this, because if you have this mind frame of trying to increase everywhere you go, you're going to naturally attract all these people that want to help you out. You're going to naturally attract opportunities. You should go anywhere. Your mother, any, anybody, you should be like, how, what is another way I can increase what they're doing, increase their mood, 
and, you know, increase their income, increase their spirituality. Um, now, remember, you don't want to overstep boundaries because you have to understand what they want. So I did say increase their spirituality. Right. So check this out, because this could be wrong. You could be trying to put your spiritual beliefs on somebody. Right. That's not what you want to do. You want to understand who the inv individual is. So if the individual is very, very materialistic, leave that alone. Uh, don't try to make him more spiritual or her more spiritual. Focus on what that individual desires. So maybe so if you're in a position where you know how to make more money or something like that. Teach them how to do that and say, hey, you know, I, I know this way that um, online you could do such and such and you'll be able to get more money. And they'll be like, oh, because they're on that level. See, it's not about you and what you believe and what you want them to do. You have to understand humanity and you have to come at people with true love. And that's what it is, where you understand that it's not about you. OK, and what you want them to do, what do they want? And remember, stop judging people because they're not spiritual, they're not vegan or they're not this and not that. You're already down here <laughs> if you're thinking like that. Some people is like, oh, I can't be with somebody. I can't be around people unless they're super successful or unless they're uh, super spiritual and they got crystals. Um, I can't be around people unless they're vegan. I can't even date somebody unless they're a vegan. You, you guys, <laughs> I guarantee you all those people are unsuccessful. All of them. Go on, go on social media and look at those people who say that stuff. They all unsuccessful in something, whatever they're talking about. If they're talking about relationship wise, they're unsuccessful in relationships. They're single, miserable. If they're talking about um, money wise, they're broke. If you ever noticed that and you should be focused, laser focus. When people come into your life, get to know them, understand them. And you should be increasing their life because guess what happens? They're going to start increasing yours in other ways. This is a big secret, people. This is going to get you to your dream. All right. No, uh, step number six. Put 100 percent in everything that you do. A lot of people half ass things. Everything, because it's not technically their dream, so they half ass. Well, guess what? You're you're making a reputation for yourself, not only with other people, but also with the universe and energy. What did Eric Thomas say? Um, great only attracts great. Average attracts average. So if you just all day long, you're just doing average crap. Half ass and everything. You go to school, you just half ass. I don't, I don't really want to do this. I don't like this math class. I don't even need this. So I'm just going to half ass. I'm still past. Well, guess what? You're average. And guess what? The um, average is going to be attracted to you. Instead, if you have, and remember, you want to keep your vision. All right. Because here's the secret you got to combine action and vision in the same one. Most of the time, some people are just doing action. Other times people are just holding on to their vision. The real secret is when you combine yin and yang. That's where you create. When man and woman comes together, they create something. Okay? No disrespect to the people with, with same sex sexuality, right? But we have to understand the facts. The only way you can create another human being is if a man and a woman comes together sexually. All right? It's always going to be the rule as far as creation wise. OK, so. The action male, the vision woman, uh, female comes together and now you're creating. So while you, it doesn't matter if you're in it or not, while you're working at McDonald's, <laughs> whatever it is. You want to be keeping your vision in your mind. You want to be scrubbing them floors, flipping them, you know, because you're thinking like this is not even where I'm, you know, I'm putting this energy out so I can get to my next level. I'm getting this paycheck so I can put it to my dream so I can put it so I can buy them courses so I can, you know, uh, so I can uh, get a consultation with it, with, uh, with a coat healing. I don't know. OK, 
because some of you guys keep hitting me up constantly saying, you know, you want a consultation with me, right? But you keep saying, oh, yeah, um, you know, I work at a job. I just, you know, I have the money. Well, we could do what I did where I was saving. I would save like $20 out of my check. Next thing you know, after a couple paychecks, I can buy a reading. That's what I was doing when I was 16 years old. OK, I was doing that at 16 years old. I was scrubbing floors and mopping floors to get my readings and to get my uh, expensive uh, astrology books and stuff like that. Why do you think I created the group only for certain people? Because a lot of people are leeches and parasites. And the funny thing about it is when I made that video yesterday about the group, you know, how many people got mad about me. That's a clear parasitic activity. Because they wanted to be in the group, but they never got a session or consultation with me. So I said, you know, um, that was the rule that I created. And they would get mad and say, all right, I'm going to unsubscribe. That's fine, because I don't want parasites on this channel anyway. I'd rather have 500 loyal, real, uplifting people than 20,000 fake parasitic people. So much love to all of you real gods and goddesses out there. You will be in the you're either in the group now or you'll be in the group soon enough. OK, that's my rule. You know, again, this is that's my rule for the group. Because those are the people I want to connect with. OK, and like I said, in the future, when people all you other people that get consultations with me, like I said, you'll be added to the group. You know, so it's no hard feelings. <laughs> again, put 100 percent in everything that you're doing. You're, you're attracting average. You see, why do you why do you think I said I'm going to go harder on YouTube? Because I was placing YouTube all the way to the left because I was doing all these other things. But I was like, you know, what really means more to me doing this, connecting with people or having all these other, you know, I mean, I'm still doing those other businesses, but I'm repositioning where I'm putting things at in importance wise. You see, I, like I said, everybody's learning. So I had to reevaluate myself, too. Um. So, yeah. Putting 100% while you have your vision in mind. doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be mopping floors. Keep your vision in mind. You could be a full-time student in a math class that you don't care nothing about. Keep your vision in mind and put 100%. Learn. Continue to grow. Push yourself. Okay? Step number seven. Last step. Here's the last step, people. Um, here's the last step, people. Build your team. Build your tribe. Right. Because, again, you can't do anything without other people. Build your tribe. People that have strengths and things that you're weak in. This is why you got to understand. You got to know thyself. What are you strong in and what are you weak in? Stop paying attention to what you're weak in. And, uh, understand what you're weak in. Understand your weaknesses. This is why I say get those astrology readings. Again, you want those astrology readings, astrology readings at coathealing22 at gmail.com. The email's in my description of the description of this video. Understand your weaknesses. Now, stop trying to, because I know in America especially, they try to make you focus on getting your weaknesses better. Because they want you to be, because America's so egotistical, everybody's trying to do everything by themselves. That's why foreigners come over to America and just wipe the floor with us. <laughs> because they understand the collective. Okay? They understand, the, they come in here as a group, wipe the floor with all these people trying to do everything by themselves. That's not what it's about, people. You got to know, understand your weaknesses so you can know who to put where, where to put people. No, stop trying to look for everybody that's just like you. Not everybody's going to be a vegan that, that you need on your team. Not everybody is going to be spiritually aware that you need on your team. Not everybody is going to be soft spoken that you need on your team. Not everybody is going to be outgoing that you need on your team. Your team is going to be different depending on who you are. So if you are um soft spoken that means you need somebody on your team that's outspoken somebody that's going to that's bold see 
build your team. All the, you know, I mean, of course, when it comes to something, let's just say you want to start an entertainment business, you got, I mean, of course, it has to be people that are interested in something connected with the entertainment business. Because if there's out somewhere else, you know, you're not really aligned, you know, you're not on the same path. So you're, you know, people that are going in the same direction as you, like I said, it doesn't matter where they are on, on that path. But if they're going in the same direction as you, so you want to start an entertainment business, get other people in their entertainment section of business, right? That are going that way and align yourself with these people while you keep your vision in, in your head. You see, there's no way that you cannot get what you want if you follow by these seven steps. Check why it's number seven. I'm not even going to give you that. <laughs> All right. So, again. Watch this video again. Take notes on it. Think about it. Like I said, you have a big, big energy burst coming up in the, at the winter solstice. You don't want to miss this, guys. You don't want to miss it. Like I said, get these consultations. Get in the group. Ask questions. Um, there's other people that can help you in there. Like I said, it's not, just, not about just me, but I'm going to be helping people too, especially in the group. Okay? Astrology readings, tarot readings, detox sessions, um, hypnosis sessions. Also, the consultations one-on-one, -on -one, live, me helping you out, mentoring you. And also, the small, specific people for the how to make money from home session, me helping you out with your business and stuff like that. If you want any of those sessions, contact me at coldhealing22 at gmail.com. Again, once you make your payment, I'll give you to the, I'll give you the link to the um, to the Facebook private Facebook group as well. OK, as long as I mean, as well as the service that I'm giving you. Um, all those people that had sessions with me prior, was like I said, I know YouTube is stupid and they don't give this notification out to everybody unless you click that bell next to subscribe. So if you're subscribed, click that bell, you'll get the notifications. OK. All my people that uh, that had sessions with me that bought something from me, email me as well at coldhealing22 at gmail dot com with your Facebook name. Um, asking you, will, you know, asking my assistant or me that you would like to get in the group, we'll send you the link and we'll add you in. OK, so thank you to everybody. Um, I appreciate you. Follow these steps. Follow your dreams. Let's get it out here. Let's um, stop listening to people trying to lead you astray, trying to make you miserable like them, trying to take you into the woods and make you miserable like them. OK, and and change with the times. Bruce Lee told you to be like water. All right, because you got to be adaptable. Only the ones that's the the the. The species that survives is the species that adapts. If you don't want to adapt to this age of technology and this age of thought and this age of independence, you're going to get left behind. And so are your children. And your family's going to die out. This is the way it is. And you'll be stuck in the ether realms like the rest of these low, uh, low vibrational entities trying to take over somebody else's body because you didn't understand how to adapt. Because that's what they are. They're stuck in the ether realms. They're stuck in that middle, that middle realm, <laughs> floating around trying to take somebody else's body. All right. So, uh, again, I'll leave you all. I don't want to scare anybody, but like I'm telling, I'm giving you the truth. All right. Hotep, namaste, ashe, keep your vibration high, <laughs> high, uplift. You know, and um, until next time, thank you very much.